Hi Cancer, welcome to your love connection reading for the beginning of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new, please check the description box below for any and all information you need about readings, about me, decks I'm using, tons of information there. So please do go check that out, would be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an ener energy exchange towards the channel, such as, as a tip or donation, it's greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. And I truly love to do this. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, Cancer, I hope all is well. This is a love connection reading for Cancer between you and whoever you have in mind in any kind of connection. So we'll see what comes out here. Hopefully it resonates for you. All the decks have been pre-shuffled, cut, meditated on off camera. So there will be more, a little more shuffling on camera. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So this is sort of like a little extra bonus. So if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. So we could get a planet, element, or a sign. We'll see what comes out for Cancer. So, just has spirit here, so some of you could be dealing with the Sag. Okay, for Cancer, what do we have for Cancer? What may some Cancerians be dealing with in love the first half of August, the beginning of August spirit, please? Thank you so much. Oh. Just one card for Cancer, please. One card. Thank you so much. All right, that one wanted to stick in my hand, so let's see. Mercury. So that is Gemini energy, but it doesn't have to be. And Mercury is the uh, planet of thoughts, ideas, communication, um, education, anything that has to do with the mind and communication, um, honesty, truth, and something like that. So this could be dealing with uh, maybe communication needed between you and your person, maybe some sort of truth and honesty and clarity about you and your person. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. Or you could just be dealing with the Gemini, however that works for you. Okay, or maybe they have Gemini in their chart. Uh, maybe it's their rising sign or their moon sign, if it's not their sun sign. All right, so let's get an overall love energy card between you and your person. See what's going on. Wow, these cards are really hard to shuffle. So one card for Cancer and their person. Thank you. So this is the back, and it says, Beware of what you are projecting, for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So there may be things uh, within them that trigger you because it's something in you you may not, not like about yourself or maybe you don't, don't even realize that. Um, but I see you, you know, you have good qualities. You both have the same good qualities, but you may have the same like bad habits or bad qualities or something like that. And maybe you're not seeing that. All right. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How are you feeling, Cancer, in this connection and towards this person? One card for Cancer. There we go. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So, hmm. So there may be something in this communication. Maybe you saw on a break. Maybe something happened here where um, you can feel joy. And you, and you need to tell yourself that you can feel joyful. You do allow... you do uh, deserve joy. 
So there may be something happening right now in this connection because you also have this card of um, beware of what you are projecting. So maybe there's been something going on here, uh, a disconnection of some kind. All right, so let's see how your person, oh, it's too many. How is your person feeling about you and feeling about this connection right now? For Cancer, the first half of August. One card for Cancer's person, please. There we go. So we have, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So they either just want to dissolve what's ever going on between the two of you and resolve it and um, look for new opportunities, look at other possibilities, maybe just, you know, forgiving and moving on from this. And they want to start new or start fresh, either that or they want to go in a new direction. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. So let's see what the overall energy is at the bottom of the deck. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united, for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So, and that's the back. So I definitely, and under that only time will tell, so I, I definitely feel whew, something happened here. You may be on a break. Maybe there was a fight. Maybe some sort of breakup here. But I do feel there is love between the two of you because you have my beloved. So you do feel like this could be a soulmate or there is love between the two of you. Right now, you're not feeling so happy and joyous about this whole situation. And they're wanting to start new and fresh. But it's telling you, this energy here is telling you just to be aware of your actions towards one another. What you project on one onto one another. What you say towards each other. Um, and that sort of energy. Okay, so... Oh, let's see what's going on. So maybe you just need, you know, truthful communication here with the Mercury energy. You need to sit down, have a real good heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You know, try not to argue, bicker, or fight. That Mercury energy about communication. All right, so let's see what's going on for you, Cancer. All right, why is Cancer in this energy of not feeling so joyous right now? Why is Cancer in this energy? Can we clarify, Spirit, please, with one card for Cancer, please? Thank you so much. One card okay. for Cancer. One card. That's two. That's three. I only want one. Wow. One card for Cancer, please. Oi. All right, let's take that one. So we have the King of Swords. Wow. <laughs> wow. And the King of Swords represents Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, which is air energy. And I had Gem Gemini is Mercury, and Mercury is about truth, communication, uh, thoughts, ideas, anything with the mind, also verbalizing communication, truth, clarity. And here's the King of Swords, who stands up with truth and clarity and communication, cuts away the bullshit, stands up for themselves. So you may, I think you really want to just have a heart, to, a truthful heart to heart with this person about everything that's affecting this connection. So how is your person feeling? The Nine of Cups. So water energy here. So if they're not a Gemini, they could be a water sign or this is your energy. So they have you in their heart and mind here with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You are their beloved. You are their wish come true. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, happiness and joy. So they wanna move on from this. Um, they want to move on from this. And I feel like if they are an ear sign or a Gemini, you have them in your heart because here's the ear sign card and they have you in their heart because there's the water. So, wow. 
wow so yeah you know they want happiness and joy they want wish fulfillment you are their wish come true you're wanting truth clarity open honest communication wow so if you're wondering if they want that what they want they want wish fulfillment and they probably want to have communication too so maybe you guys are both being stubborn and no one's coming forward I don't know. Let's see what the actual situation is. So we have the Six of Cups. Wow. Water energy. Six of Swords. Oh, air energy. In the Devil. Okay. So Capricorn here. So the actual situation connected to you is the Six of Cups. So you may be thinking back, reflecting. This is, uh, you know, thinking back. Memories, nostalgia, thinking of the past. You know, think of everything that you went through with this person. Um, and then this can also speak of past life relationships. Also, so this could be someone you had past lives with. Or someone you've known for a very long time, maybe since childhood. Is connecting to you. And connected to them is the devil, which is, excuse me, which is Capricorn. So I don't know about the Nine of Cups there, if they have a little overindulgence, you know, with the Nine of Cups, and maybe that's something that they really need to uh, focus on and overcome, because you do, do have the Six of Swords here, which is connecting the two of you, which speaks of healing and leaving things behind and going in a new direction, leaving everything that's not serving this connection behind going in a more healing peaceful balanced place calmer waters so that's connecting the two of you so you both want that you both want peace and harmony and to move forward and leave all that negative bs behind which is with the devil energy here so you know and you really feel like this is your soulmate person you either been with them a long time or you knew them in past lives or you've known them since childhood and they have the devil with the nine of cups. So, you know, maybe they're overindulging right now. You know, that's toxic energy. Um, or they have such a strong um, connection to you. It's almost toxic. Like a very passionate connection. That's almost to a toxic level, which you got to watch that. And maybe that's what needs healing in this connection. Wow. Okay. So, and the toxic energy could just, maybe they did something while they were drinking that hurt you. Maybe they said some things with the King of Swords energy here. They didn't mean to say, you know, and, but you know, all can be healed and all that toxic energy can move, be moved on from and leave it all behind. You can go in a, um, six is a very healing, balancing number and also Mercury five, one, six. So that's triple confirmation of just leaving it behind, going in a better place, healing and balancing the situation out, getting rid of this toxic energy. All right, so let's see what your advice is. Ace of Wands and the King of Cups. Wow. <laughs> so we have fire and now we have water energy, which is your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, and you see this man kind of offering so I think you just need to offer this person a whole new beginning. Ace of Wands is a brand new passionate beginning. Uh, having, you know, that passion, desire, excitement, um, that drive and ambition. So your, you know, your advice is to, you know, if you feel like you need to communicate with this person, do that. Come forward with love, emotions, truthful, honest, open communication for a brand new passionate beginning here. A whole new direction going in that new direction with the six of swords sailing into that new direction bringing that peace harmony and balance and overcoming any toxic energy that happened between the two of you wow so let's see what your possible outcome is the fool wow <laughs> so and this is Aquarius energy so it doesn't have to be but the fool yep leaving all that toxic energy behind I had just said that starting over with a new beginning Here's resetting, starting over at zero, leaving all the crap behind that you don't need that's not serving the connection, taking a leap of faith, jumping right in, starting all over with the full energy. Wow. 
And that could be the outcome here. If you choose to come together and communicate truthfully, honestly, lovingly, apologies, you know, open, honest, truthful communication and getting rid of toxic energy. Wow. So let's get more clarification now. The Queen of Cups, and there's your energy again. So we have the King and Queen of Cups. So this is a soulmate, and the Six of Cups is a soulmate card. And with a matching couple here, King and Queen of Cups, a definite, definite, definite soulmate energy here. And this is your energy. So again, coming forward, you know, being loving, uh, supportive, um, compassionate energy. Wow. The Four of Swords, again, here's that healing energy. You know, I definitely felt like there was a break here. The Four of Swords is retreating, um, <clears throat> you know, recuperating, resting, thinking, contemplating, healing energy. So I definitely feel like, you know, on a break here, having to heal over whatever happened here. If it was a fight, argument, maybe things were said that were very hurtful between the two of you. Maybe they said some things or you did or just back and forth, a fight, I don't know. So just going in your corners, spending some time apart, healing, thinking, contemplating energy. There's that air energy again, as Mercury is uh, Gemini, which is air. We have the star. So, wow, and I just said healing. So Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. So again, here's having that faith, hope, and optimism for the future. Healing energy, wish fulfillment energy. Wow. Wow. I definitely feel like you guys are both each other's wishes and dreams coming true. Um, there can be healing. Here's the healing right here. Overcoming the devil. Energy. Toxic energy. Going in a more divine, peaceful place here. Could be a divinely guided soulmate connection here with the star written in the stars. In the world. Wow. So... The world is the last of the major arcana, and after the world comes the fool, which you start over at zero and have a brand new beginning, and then you have the brand new beginning with the Ace of Wands. Wow. So, yep, completing cycles no longer serving this connection, and starting over, as you see, the world is usually has the, um, you know, like the circle here. So completing cycles no longer serving this situation, starting over resetting and going in a whole new cycle a whole new direction in this connection wow so let's see wow and now we have the six of pentacles so yep balancing balancing yep six again so we have the six i think we have the six of cups the six of pentacles the six of swords wow we don't have the six of wands yet, but we have almost all the sixes here. So healing and balanced energy definitely can be brought into the situation. A lot of healing and balancing. Wow. And stabilizing the relationship with the pentacle energy, slowing it down, stabilizing it. King of pentacle energy. So now we have earth energy. So, yep. Being strong, stable, and secure, uh, being dependable, um, loyal. Yep, so now we're at the bottom, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is Sagittarius energy. So, yep, things moving in a new direction, things going in a better direction. The Wheel of Fate, time, destiny, better luck and fortune. Yep, better luck and timing in this. <clears throat> and there's the Ace of Cups. So there's a brand new beginning again. Divinely guided love. Brand new love. This is a divinely guided love connection here. A lot of love and emotions. Wow. Eight of Wands. So here's that passionate communication. And I had seen this all throughout here. That communication is needed between the two of you to mend and heal the situation over whatever fight, argument, separation happened here. And here's that fast travel action communication coming in passionate princess of wands so yep this is the um page of wands so here comes the messages the action of it and here are the messages right here of passion excitement 
Yep. A lot of cards of communication here needed to heal and balance this connection. All right. So let's get some extra clarity here with some messages, guidance for you, Cancer. First half of August. Love connection reading. Messages of advice and guidance for Cancer. Well, what did I see there? I saw, yep, yeah, here, the Ace of Swords. Wow. So now we have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. So here is that big, big communication, that big conversation, that big um, moment of truth and clarity and realization, having a brand new beginning, transforming this whole dynamic and connection here, and having this open, honest conversation. Wow. Clarity, Ace of Swords, cutting away things no longer serving the connection, you know, standing up for yourself, standing up for the connection. Um, and just having that open communication. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Wow. So we have the fool again. Wow. Trust. Just to have trust, faith, hope as with the star and take that leap of faith and jump right in and have a new start with this person. Just trust in this connection. Trust in the divine. Trust in you and this person. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Fool twice. Wow. Three aces of new beginnings. The swords, the um, wands, and the cups. Wow. So, Cancer, I see, you know, this is a, a strong connection, a soulmate connection. Things can be worked out. Communications needing needed for healing and cutting away things no longer serving this connection. All toxic energy cutting all that away and having this brand new, truthful, open, honest, passionate, loving, resetting the whole dynamic and starting over with the, with your person. Wow. Okay, Cancer, I hope this resonated for you. Um, if it did, please do like, share, subscribe, um, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so don't miss out on that. And comment. I love to read the comments. And um, if this didn't resonate for you, you could check down below the description box for links to past readings. Maybe something there will resonate for you. And good luck to you in your situation. And I'm sending you much light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.